guys, you gotta run. Pac-Man is eating our town. He's taking over the world. He's eating people alive. Ah! Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Pixels. So, Pixels is directed by Chris Columbus. It stars Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Peter Dinklage, Josh Gad, and Michelle Monaghan. And this film is about us humans sending a message up to the aliens. However, the aliens, they take things the wrong way, so they come invade Earth in the shape of these video game characters. So, it's up to Adam Sandler, Josh Gad, Peter Dinklage, Michelle Monaghan, and Kevin James to go out there and stop this mess. So honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. I was freaking excited for Pixels. Yes, I was excited for this movie. I love these video game characters, you know. The ones I'm mainly familiar with is Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, and there's a couple of others like Centipede. But you know, I just love this idea of video game characters coming over to take over our world. And I do really like Chris Columbus as the director. He directed the first two Home Alone movies, the first two Harry Potter movies, Mrs. Doubtfire, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, Adventures and Babysitting. Also, I don't hate Adam Sandler. I'm not gonna hate the guy because people want me to hate him. All right, if I don't hate Adam Sandler, I should have the right to not hate him. And I do enjoy most of his movies. And his later work, yes, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like at least most of his later work. Not all of it, but most of it. So now that I've seen Pixels, even with all of the negative reviews and the massive hate it's getting, unpopular opinion alert, I had a freaking blast with Pixels. Pixels is honestly one of the most fun times I've had this year at the theaters. Like I said, I love the concept and I thought this movie handled the concept really well. I really liked the storyline. I thought it was very well written with its blend of the humor and its blend of these video game action pieces that bring so much nostalgia. You know, I'm not someone that grew up in the 80s or everything, but you know, when I grew up, I did get introduced to Pac-Man. I did get introduced to Donkey Kong. And just seeing these characters on the big screen just make me so happy. I feel like that happy eight-year-old kid when I'm watching Pixels because I'm actually seeing these characters on the big screen. There's 80s music playing in the Pixels that fit with the tone, the visuals for the video game characters, the way they're pixelated, the way they look with the color schemes, they look fantastic. The characters look like who they would look like if they were actually in live action form. Like I actually bought all of the pixelated things and I think it's cool that this movie is titled Pixels. I think that's actually a pretty creative title for a live action video game movie. The video game action set pieces when it came to the characters of course I had a blast with each and every one of those scenes. My favorite scene in particular is the Pac-Man scene. Oh my goodness I'm not gonna lie you guys, I was actually at the edge of my seat when it came to the Pac-Man scene because the Pac-Man scene was so damn creative. This is a creative movie in terms of how they dealt with the video games and what Adam Sandler and the team had to do to stop these video games. The Pac-Man scene, what they had to do in that scene was actually pretty damn clever in my opinion. I just loved every second of that moment. And then of course, when you do get to the finale, it is really awesome as well. That's where it's like video games galore when it definitely comes to the finale. And I do really like the team here. I really liked Adam Sandler. I really liked Josh Gad. I really liked Peter Dinklage. I really liked Michelle Monaghan. And also Kevin James. Yes, 
the president of the United States. You kind of question, why is he the president of the United States? But honestly, because I like Kevin James so much, it really does not matter for me. I like this cast. I know they don't exactly have like the best following, particularly Adam Sandler and Kevin James really. I really like these guys and I thought they worked so well here. There's also Qbert. How this movie handled Qbert was just so adorable. Qbert was by far the cutest character in this movie. Like almost everything that comes out of Qbert, I'm all like, aw, that's adorable. Like I just love Qbert in this movie. He was just so cute. And Chris Columbus directs this movie so well. This movie is very well shot. And how Chris Columbus handles these set pieces with the video game characters, he handled that beautifully. The shots he would use to get you immersed into these video game set pieces were very well done and that's a huge credit to Chris Columbus and I'm so glad he got to direct this movie. I know a lot of people felt like he made a huge mistake directing this but to me I felt like Chris Columbus was the right guy to direct Pixels. And the last thing about Pixels is that most of the humor is honestly very well done. I do really like most of the humor in Pixels. Most of the humor hit me but just because because I did have a ton of fun with Pixels doesn't mean I didn't have flaws with the movie because there are some flaws I did have with Pixels. Now as I said most of the humor does work but there's some of the humor in this movie that didn't hit at all that didn't work for me especially when it comes to this Adam Sandler Michelle Monaghan plot and the first 20 minutes Adam Sandler with Michelle Monaghan, I thought he was pretty creepy actually and I got really awkward when this guy was getting really creepy towards her because you know she's a beautiful woman and he is in love with her. Then there's the subplot with Michelle Monaghan and Adam Sandler which honestly I don't think was necessary. I felt that was very unnecessary. It didn't have to be there. There were a few times where it did detract from the whole video game aspect of the movie. And then some of the humor that didn't work for me is like when Josh Gad is in the military because I really like Josh Gad in this movie. But in the military scene without spoiling anything, he did kind of get on my nerves in that scene, but just in that military scene. Outside of that one scene, I actually thought Josh Gad was really funny here and he made the movie really entertaining. And of course, Peter Dinklage, he's just freaking hilarious in this movie. Almost everything that comes out of his mouth just made me laugh hysterically, honestly. Also, speaking of the military scene, there is this actor who's very well known. I'm not going to say who this actor is, but honestly, as great as it was to see this guy on screen, I don't think he was really necessary to be in this movie because his character just felt absolutely pointless to this movie. And the military in general just felt pointless. I don't think you really needed the military in this movie ever because they were utterly useless in Pixels. And then my last problem with Pixels is that in the first 20 minutes, the editing, it does get a little bit sloppy. How it's going back and forth to Adam Sandler and Mich Michelle Monaghan and then the video game's attacking and then Adam Sandler and Michelle Monaghan and then the video game's attacking. I felt like the editing, at least in the first 20 minutes of Pixels, it could have been better. After that though, the editing was really well done. So overall, you guys, I really did have a great time with Pixels. I know I'm in the minority with this. That's cool, and that's what makes the world interesting. You're going to be in the minority with some movie. I'm sure it's no surprise to you guys at this point, but I am going to give Pixels 3 out of 4 stars. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of the movie Pixels, and also what's your favorite 80s video game character? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!